My Facebook got hacked and got disabled permanently. How did I recover? I lost all my social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram both. How did I still get clients? In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the two ways that I get clients in my business without social media or any paid ads. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm a conversion strategist. I help coaches, consultants, and online service-based business owners clarify their message and get clients consistently without social media burnout. I haven't been showing up online much recently. For the last three months, I've had some challenges in my business that made me step back and reevaluate some things. When my Facebook and Instagram got disabled, I lost access to my group and all the valuable content I had in my social media accounts. I also lost some team members around the same time and made some changes in the team, which actually helped me put together a completely new team. And we've been working on some very exciting projects, which I'm going to be announcing really, really soon. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications so that you don't miss this amazing announcement in a couple of weeks. While all of this was going on, I have to admit, I lost motivation on creating content myself and, and showing up online. But knowing that this is a part of the entrepreneurship, I had to put my big girl pants on and get back to my mission of serving my community. You know me, I always talk about not relying on social media. So I'm sure you're curious as to why losing my social media accounts affected me so much. You know me, I always talk about not relying on social media. So I'm sure you're curious as to why this affected me so much. Honestly, it didn't affect my business much, but I think it was more of a personal mental issue because it was a day-to-day -day thing for me. That was the way of me engaging with my community personally. So I still have those two ways that I get clients consistently, organically, and passively. What are these two ways to evergreen ways of getting clients where I'm able to sustain my business. Let's talk about those. Number one is my email list. Thanks to my email list, I'm able to get clients consistently. And I don't even have a huge email list, but I have a very well targeted one. And the leads are engaged because they are getting the information that they exactly signed up for. And that's why it's very important that you don't rely on social media because when the account is gone or the platform is gone, your followers and friends are gone. But my email list, I own it. That's an asset that I own and it's always going to be mine. For those who don't have an email list, I can already hear you saying, well, I don't have an email list or don't you need social media or ads to build an email list? Not necessarily, which brings me to the second evergreen way of getting clients, which is evergreen content. I've built most of my email list through evergreen content. It may have been a slower process, but it's one of the best ways of getting the well-targeted and quality leads that you're looking for. The reason is because evergreen content is searchable content. Think of it this way. If I'm searching for a piece of specific information online and your content comes up, that's exactly what I needed, right? Why wouldn't I sign up? And that's why it's so important because leads that you get from evergreen content are exactly looking for what your content is about versus the leads you get random people who sign up from social media just because you have free content are not as motivated. Another advantage of evergreen content is that it's always there and it's always relevant. No matter if I search for the same thing today or five years from now, it's still gonna be the same content. 
it doesn't just stop circulating or stop showing up in 48 hours. Instead, it actually builds authority in time and brings you passive leads. You don't even have to post ever again. You'll keep getting those leads because you're building authority and getting more and more traffic. So if the leads that come from evergreen content are more motivated, more intentional, and if you are able to convert them quicker than social media, why not have a passive and organic way of getting leads? In the next video, I'm gonna walk you through the strategy of getting clients through evergreen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And let me know in the comments, What's holding you back from using evergreen strategies in your business? See you next time.